and which are given and taken. Documents, blueprints, tiny canisters of film, but it was never a place where I expected to find love. I was waiting at a table in West Berlin when she walked in. Hello, Charlie. You appear to have me at a disadvantage. And you don't like that? The unknown can be dangerous. Yes, it can also be exhilarating. <laughs> I have enough excitement in my life. Are you certain of that? How do I know you're the delivery person? Why wouldn't I be? You don't look like one of us. One of us? People who deliver things. Well, <laughs> what am I supposed to look like? Worried. I don't worry about things I can't control. Take the weather, for instance. The newspapers all said it would be foul out today, and yet it's beautiful. And there's nothing I can do about it either way. What if you made a mistake? I don't believe in mistakes. I was on the wrong side of the wall, which is always a dangerous place to be. But they said the exchange would be worth it. They turned out to be right. They didn't expect to see you again. You're awfully pessimistic. I'm a realist. You failed to deliver. Failure isn't usually tolerated. Don't worry. Our mutual friends got exactly what they wanted. And what's that? An introduction. It's not true. I still don't know your name. What else would you like to know about me, Charlie? When she tried to leave, I stopped her. There's a hotel across the street. You can't. We're on different sides. You know, this is all we're allowed. I can't even remember what vital information passed between us. Only how it felt to have her fingers pressed against me. Outside a cafe in Paris, it continued. Vous ne pouvez pas continuer comme ça. Permettez-moi vous apporter de l'autre côté. No. No. Pensez-vous que vous pouvez toujours rester devant eux? Oui. Months later, I took a mission in Vilnius, deep behind enemy lines. I did it just for the chance to see her. Как долго ты хотел прикоснуться ко мне, Чарли? Слишком долго. Как долго ты хочешь сохранить касайся меня? Навсегда. In London, we both read newspapers while we made love with our shoes on. It went on for a long time. She opened and closed my zipper 50 times, exactly 50 times. She wore a skirt and I felt how wet she was to the soft fabric of her underwear. But never did we remove our clothes. Never did we expose ourselves. Stateside, in April. I was given a directive. Four words typed on a folded sheet, tucked in a book by Sherwood Anderson. 
I read it only once. The man smiled at me. I don't know what kind of smile it was, but it wasn't a good one. I saw her three months from then in the restaurant where we first met. She touched me and I touched her. And we left our wine glasses full for a whole hour. Oh, Charlie, I'm sorry. It doesn't have to be this way. There's a safe house just a couple blocks away. It's warm and the bed is soft. We can figure it out there. I won't let you do that to yourself. But then you know what happens next. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I told you I don't worry about things I can't control. Have you made your decision? It all happened beneath the tables of the world. There is nothing left of her now but what I remember. And because of that, she will always be mine.